maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. He feeds it to Russell, takes the assist, and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Russell's got five now. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Jurkic setting the pick for Reddish. And Davis sends it back. Not only does Davis have great skill. A different look now for Portland. Rodford's checked in, and it's Nasir Little in for Reddish. Vanderbilt's checked in for Los Angeles. 106 left to play in the first quarter. In the clock. Little from outside. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this bad. Reyes, the pass to Davis. From 18 feet away, and that one off the back of the rim and in. That's 10 points for the Beast. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. You know, nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Now here's Lillard. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Grant gets a wide open look. Twenty-six seconds left here in the opening quarter. Johnson, a wide-open look. Portland, no good that time either. Los Angeles leading by 16. Here's Reyes, and again, it's the Lakers. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. The wide-open shot by Little. Portland again, missing. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, wasn't able to cash in. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Some changes for the Lakers. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played, taking a look at the Lakers. No go small with LeBron at the four and Davis at the five. Russell is out there with the Beast, and it's Beasley at the three side. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, GA. Thanks, Kevin. The beast in the last matchup against Memphis was dominant. He picked up 26 points, and it seemed like every shot he put up was going in. That's how dialed in he was. Another solid game from him. He's playing well, and so is his team. How long can they keep this up, Kevin? Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him, might force him to adjust, or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. Simons surveying the D. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him. 
painful for me to watch, too. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Lillard against Russell. Five on the clock. Pass to Simons to stop the run. You can't hit that time. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a 34-point advantage heading into the break. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. We've got more in store for you right after this. And hello, everybody. What an amazing first half performance it's been for the Los Angeles Lakers. Right now, they're getting anything they want in close. Now, that's hard to do, getting to the rim that easily, facing little resistance or no resistance. And they've continued to exploit that advantage. Yeah, well, why go away from what's working? They're just feasting down low so far. And let's move on and see the top vote-getters in this year's All-Star Race. Hard to disagree with the names on that board, man. But every year, some guys fly under the radar who are not represented. Fortunately, there's still time for those guys to make their case. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. What can you say? The Beast, an impressive effort here today. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look they wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. Nurkic the pivot with Grant at the other post spot. And it's Reddish in at the three, the small four. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Clark with the dramatic rise in three-point shooting. Do you think the league will ever experiment with a four-point shot? I don't think so, Kevin. That's a bit gimmicky for me, but I'm somewhat old school and traditional. I think you could maybe test it out somewhere, maybe in the All-Star game or the G League. The league hasn't been shy about trying new things and seeing what works and what doesn't. And Lillard kicks to Grant. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Out left to the wing. It's up a three. A shot by Rudish, no good. L.A. has gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Wasted no time on that one. Reyes has got four this quarter. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Willard. Here's Nurkic. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Yeah, and with his skill, Nurkic can score from anywhere on the court. But when you're 280, his skills probably better utilized inside. Grant against James, feeds to Davis, and finished off by Davis. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Lillard scanning the floor. Grant with a screen on Russell, and Lillard kicks to Grant. Simon's on the wing. Here's Lillard. From deep, from beyond the arc, and then some. And he's got his second bucket tonight. And you see the confidence Lillard has from that spot. You expect him to knock those down. Shots good by the Beast. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. Lillard from outside. 
Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. Shots good by the Beast. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Grant with a screen on Russell. Lillard from outside. And James pulls it down. James has got his sixth rebound on the night. And you look at the loyalty Lillard has shown. Stuck with the Blazers through thick and thin. It's why he is beloved in Portland. There's no stopping that. A.D. is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. We've got 128 left in the third quarter. And at some point, Greg, you wonder if Lillard is the greatest blazer of all time. Listen, he is in the conversation. You have to include Walden Drexler up there. But Lillard's resume in Portland has a strong argument. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Here's Reyes. Again, the Lakers. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. I love that mid-range shot. It's definitely given the defender something extra to think about. Lillard from outside. Lillard again missing. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. James, the pass to Reyes. Back to LeBron. Takes a three. Here's Davis, and Davis throws it down hard. It's clear that Davis loves to put on the show for the fans, and putting on the show is exactly what he's doing. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Grant the pass to Lillard. Simmons with the ball. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going in. How the heck is that a foul, ref? You need LASIK. Two. That's it that LeBron spends over a million dollars keeping his body in shape. I think that's a big reason why he's been able to enjoy such a long career, making that kind of investment into the tool of his trade. From past the arc, it doesn't go for him. The three quarters of play all in the books. So it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. So for the Lakers right now, we've got the Beast, Jared Vanderbilt out there with Muhammad Bamba. Then there's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Walker in at the three. And that one's good. Schroeder. From beyond the arc, Schroeder can be so effective. Defenses need to watch him out there. You can't sleep on him at the three-point line. On the wing, Johnson. He is guarded by Reyes. Johnson can't get it to go. Los Angeles has gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Tries from 16, and there's another one for the Lakers. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. The shot comes out, and the Lakers take it the other way. They host the Clippers after this game. 
That'll be the first of two straight at home. Walker the pass to Reyes over Johnson. And there's another one for the Lakers. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And they get it. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. He's been an absolute non-factor. Zero factor this game. Just a horrible performance from him. And that one's good. Schroeder. This is who Schroeder is. I mean, he's somebody who plays with assertiveness and aggressiveness on the offensive end. The pass to Watford. Nine against Schroeder. Watford. Combo with the block. And he's able to get it back. Watford. That's good. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Here's Schroeder again, Los Angeles. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Lakers. They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense. And that, to me, has been impressive. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance... Free throw good from Lillard. Yeah, and known for being a clutch performer, Dame has his sights set on title. A, a true leader with a winning mindset. Here's Reyes. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic. Getting to his spots on the floor. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone. Taking MP.
Here we go. So the Lakers win the tip. Obviously, this is the type of game the fans really get up for. So do we. And the players as well. Yeah, we all can't wait. These are the types of games you mentally circle on the calendar. It's a test for the teams to see how championship ready they might be. Now here's Wall. Here's George. Pass to Leonard. Morris on the wing. Tumbley down low. Checked by Davis. Morris can't hit. And it's the Lakers ball. It's a three-point game. Here's Reyes. George defending. On the wing, Davis. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Yeah, Davis really demands to be covered at all times. He's always ready to flex that range on you. Leonard passes to George. The three. And again, no good by the Clippers. Boy, guys, it wasn't too long ago that the Los Angeles Clippers were the worst team in the league. But boy, the times change. The Clippers are now an attractive organization for some stars. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Davis, the pass to James. With the fadeaway. And the Lakers tack on two more. I mean, a true transformation of the Clippers. They were that team that stars avoided. They were B.A., but I think that started to change back in 2011. The trade of CP3 to the Clippers, it started this new era. Then the ownership change helped it even further. And in one summer, let's remember, they signed both Kawhi and Paul George. Unreal transformation. Here's Reyes. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. And he gets out of Five straight buckets to start the game. Off to a hot start. The Clippers have gone two for five here in the first. Russell against Wall. Now, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Six on the shot clock. Here's Leonard. Rebound, the Lakers. Coming off a win against the Blazers. And I'll tell you, that was not an easy environment to play in. It was a hostile crowd on the road, but it didn't bother them at all. Well, the best way to silence a crowd is with your offensive game. Those fans got quiet in a hurry when the buckets started raining down. And it's the Lakers' ball. They're on a 12-4 run. James, outside. And finished off by Davis. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Getting ready for the Lakers. Bombas checked in for Davis. Vanderbilt comes in for LeBron. Reeves is checked in for Achimura. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. Zubak passes to Covington. And here's Gordon from the arc. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. The Lakers have gone six of seven. Looking good. At the 2018 draft combine, Mo Bamba measured a 7-10 wingspan, Doris. Absolutely incredible to think that that broke the record for the longest that Rudy Gobert held. Now, how does that translate in the NBA? Well, it obviously is a help on the defensive end. Mo Bamba, a guy capable of covering so much area on the floor. Here's Reyes coming off a 31-point game against Portland. And there's another one for the Lakers. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Williams up top, covered by Schroeder. Here's Zubox. And good. Off the lead pass that time. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Pass to Reyes. Fires it. He hits the back iron and sinks it. He has this. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Get it, MP! Don't 
You're a beast! First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. The Clippers shooting has not been great early. Just 27% past the Zubats. 29 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Williams passes to Gordon. No good on the three. The Lakers have gone 8 of 10 shooting. Here's Reyes. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Williams in the post. That's no good. Couldn't get his first one to go. And so it's... Zubats. Covington comes in for Morris. Gordon, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's man in for Wall. We've got Anthony Davis. Jared Vanderbilt out there with Malik Beasley. Then it's Dennis Schroeder. And it's the Beast in a two-guard. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Beasley outside. Pass to Reyes. Up and over Gordon. Shots good by Reyes. 12 points for him. Boy, Malik Beasley, known as a pure scorer, but how about the setup of his teammate right there? That's a pretty pass. Thanks. Well, the Beast in their last matchup against the Trailblazers was a man on a mission. He had 31 points, and the defense never found a way to force him out of his rhythm. An astounding game for him, putting up numbers we might be talking about for the rest of his career. Back to you. Yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight. Well, his team needs him to contribute. When he's on his A game, he just makes play after play. Well, when they're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. Pass to George. One eleven left in the second. Here he goes. And the jam by George. Don't sleep on Paul George's verticality. How nice was that finish? Here's Reyes. Over Gordon. And the Lakers tack on two more. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. And for the Clippers, they're shooting only 31% of the game. Pass to George. There's 45 seconds left in the half. Six to shoot. For three, Gordon. That shot missing. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Here's Reyes. Up and over Gordon. Again, the Lakers. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Well, the Clippers shooting 35% in the second so far. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to George. Launches it. The rebound by Beasley. Three on three. An easy two on the layup. He's got 18. Transition basketball. The most reliable way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates... And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Ahead by a mile with a 38-point lead at the end of the period. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. More 2K action in just a moment. We keep getting close to seeing how these all... And now switching gears to our featured game, a phenomenal first half for the Lakers. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. 
big men nowadays, Doris. Some of them handle like a guard. Well, this is the beauty and the natural evolution of having to function on the perimeter. You want to be as skilled as possible. We call it being a three-tool player, Brian. Can you dribble? Can you pass? Can you shoot? Increasingly, you must be able to do all three. Checking out the group for Ty Lu to start the second half. The two-way threats of George and Leonard to the wing pair. Marcus Morris out there with Mason Plumley, And it's Wall in at the one. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Wall, the pass to Leonard. Over Ashimura. Shot by Leonard, no good. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Back to James. Pass to Russell. Here's Reyes. Wall covering. It's stolen by Wall. Leonard outside. And Davis with the block. Oh, one of the game's great shot blockers. AD's a smart defender who's usually in position to make a play on the ball. Reyes misses. And for him, that's a great look. Expect him to go right back to it if it's available. Come on, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Not a terrific start here in the second half. Four attempts, nothing to show for it. Something you can't deny about Mark Moore. He is a passionate player. On and off the court, this guy is highly competitive. He's a leader in the locker room. His playing style, to me, would fit with any organization. Smart and tough. Leonard shots good. Well, the offensive effort pays off for Kawhi Leonard. Right now, getting the defense into the mid-range area and then rise and fire. The three from Russell. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. Plumley a screen on Russell. Wall, the pass to Plumley. George has the open look. James with the rebound. Well, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That was a missed opportunity. And again, it's the Lakers. 80% shooting to start the third, four for five. The Clippers have gone only one for six here in the second half. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. And he's going to the line for two. Let the boys play. Stop trying to take over the game. Guy coming to meet you. This guy is the embodiment of an elite defender. Some changes now for the Lakers. Bamba comes in for Anthony Davis. And Reeves is subbed in for Achimura. Here's the pick. Shoots from the elbow, and the Lakers tack on two more. I am simply blown away by his accuracy. He has made every shot, and what's most important, his team is winning. Leonard really has shown very few cracks in his defensive game over the years, Doris. B.A., I think it's a combination of things. Certainly the physical attributes. He's really long. He's got unbelievable lateral quickness. His defensive instincts and IQ are just off the charts. This guy is as disruptive a defensive force as we have seen. Pass to Reyes. It's James on the wing. Oh, and another free for the Lakers. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly endured his share of criticism in the past, but he said, quote, I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. I'm going to go out there and move and give it everything I've got. And guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Allie. Thank you. Williams finds Leonard. One minute left to play in the third. Zubats. Oh, no good! Unable to win this run. To the middle. Here's Reyes. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Williams against Russell. Here's Leonard. And again, it's the Clippers missing. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Pass to Bamba. 
into the floor and it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Clock at six. Pass to Leonard. The baseline, Jay. No good on the shot. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. She is doing... Go for a different look here. Zubats, he's checked in for Covington. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Coffee. Paul George, he's checked in for Boston. And it's Wall in for Williams. They've got Dennis Schroeder. Malik Beasley is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Uh, Davis. And it's the Beast in the legit. two. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Get open, get open. To the right side. Pass to Reyes. Over Gordon. Money on the 19 4 Give him 30. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. And for the Clippers, they're shooting a tough 22% for the field so far. Wall against Schroeder. Now George. Leonard outside. Five on the clock to stop the run. George, no good. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Pass to Reyes. Up and over Gordon. They get the rebound. Here's Davis. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. The long arms of Davis. Outstanding work using them to track down second chance points. Vanderbilt against Leonard. Over Vanderbilt. Ball for three. Second chance shot. Rebound by the Lakers. Vanderbilt's got six rebounds now in the game. Well, coaches love seeing this from Dennis Schroeder. Recognize the situation, find the open teammate. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's Leonard. And again, no good by the Clippers. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Slams it home. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Lakers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And tonight, a fantastic effort to deliver their 48th win of the year. It's just a great matchup for them. And they're looking for the four-game season sweep in their next meeting. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for the Beast. They simply can't stop him right now. This guy playing with passion and focus. Wall, the pass to Leonard. Over Vanderbilt. Here's Zubats. It's good. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling to give up on the play. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Pass to Reyes. Shoots over Wall. And there's another one for the Lakers. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Now here's Leonard. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Good D by Vanderbilt. To the paint. Davis down low. Zubox there. Pass to Reyes. Shoots over George. And again, it's the Lakers. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. So it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one.
you know, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. And that's going to do it tonight, Way folks, to for close, our broadcast. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you later. No, shampoo just seems weird. Wait, wait, hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. So you don't wash your hair? Oh. Is that what I'm hearing? Of course I wash my hair. Don't be disgusting. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, the conversation that you were eavesdropping on was about some crazy cross-branded mm -hmm. stuff that's been rumored. Mm -hmm. And this one would buy anything if it's getting some buzz. Yo, no, no, I wouldn't. What? You <laughs> bought a stick once. Yeah, because that stick was dope. Okay. All right, you know what? Let, let's just ask this fool some questions so that we don't need to go there. Cool. Yeah. 
Okay, which label's logo is like this little heart with two little eyes on it? It's kind of cute. Ooh, I think so too. Yeah. It's really cute. You and know? they put it on everything, mm -hmm. like t-shirts to hats, even Converse sneakers. Yo, I love the hats. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay, which label is that? Mm -hmm. Heart with eyes. Comme des garçons play. You think I didn't know that one? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, you think you're so smart? Uh-huh. Tell me this. So you're looking for the largest collection of footwear, yep. yeah? Yep. You would go to a shoe museum. Yep. Ooh, okay. But the shoe museum yep. with the largest collection of footwear uh -huh. is the Bada, which is in which city? Uh-huh. For some reason, I'm feeling Tokyo. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, you know who Heron Preston is, right? The Heron Preston. Mm -hmm. So, like, when he did his project Uniform, Uniform like a few years ago, uh -huh. who did he collaborate with? Uh huh. Um, Louis Vuitton? I don't know. What? No. And you should be embarrassed right now. No, shampoo just seems weird. Wait, wait, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. So you don't... Okay, which label's logo is like this little heart with two little eyes on it? It's kind of cute. Ooh, I think so too. Yeah. Heart with eyes. Comme des garçons play. I think I didn't know that one. Nice. Yeah, nice. Okay, you think you're so smart? Uh-huh. Tell me this. So... You said Bada, right? Oh, that's in Toronto. You got it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, you know who Heron Preston is, right? The Heron Preston. Mm -hmm. So, like, when he did his project Uniform, Uniform like a few years ago, uh -huh. who did he collaborate with? Uh huh. Oh, that's so easy. It was Gucci. What? No. And you should be embarrassed right now. <laughs> I don't know. Shampoo just seems weird. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you don't... Okay, which label's logo is like this little heart with two little eyes on it? Heart with eyes. Home de Garçon play. I think I didn't know that one. Nice. Yeah, nice. Okay, you think you're so smart? Uh huh. Tell me this. So you're looking. You said Bada, right? Oh, that's in Toronto. You got it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, you know who Heron Preston is, right? The Heron Preston. Mm -hmm. So, like, NASA baby? What? No. And you should be embarrassed right now. <laughs> I don't know. Shampoo just seems weird. Wait, wait, hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. So you don't. Okay, which label's logo is like this little heart with two little. Heart with eyes. Comme des garçons play. I think I. Nice. Yeah, nice. Okay, you think you're so smart? Uh huh. Tell me this. So you're looking. You said Bada, right? Oh, that's in Toronto. You got it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, you know who Heron Preston is, right? You serious? The New York City Department of Sanitation. Next question. Ah, yeah.
It's, you know, some kind of miracle or uh -huh. something, but you've got everything right. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed, too. You're smarter than you look. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so, you know, if you want to hang, you can get in line behind us. Yeah, and if not, then I guess we'll see you around, my guy. Bye. MP, I'm gonna chat with you for a minute. What's up, coach? I've just been history of learning. Enter this part nice of the season is when we start to hear a lot of rumors, whether it's about players on the move, coaches on the hot seat, it covers all the bases. Yeah, and that can be distracting for a lot of teams. I had a coach fired in the middle of a championship run. No one wants to be thinking about that or whether they'll be traded. But look, it happens this time of year. And the starting group for the Spurs, sharing the wing spots, it's Vassell and Johnson. Then it's Jones, and it's Sohan in at the four-man position. The cell, no good. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. 
And coming in, having outplayed the Clippers last game. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. It really is fun seeing an offensive function like a well-oiled machine. I'll be interested to see if they can keep doing this. Here's Benson. After the main shot from Reyes, here's Vassell. Gets an open look and hits. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. And you don't see many teams take these shots as often anymore. It's nice to see them take advantage in this area. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Look, everybody always wants to compliment LeBron James on the glass. Well, he should be. He's huge, but he knows how to use that body effectively. Here's Bassett. 11 points for him in that last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Here's Russell with the three. Nailed from three-point line. Out to a hot start. Four makes and five shots to begin this ball game. It's easy to see why the Los Angeles Lakers are considered one of the greatest franchises in sports. Look at their history of winning. Now, here's Vassell. He's coming off a 16-point game against Portland. You know, Richard, it's just a spot. It's showtime. That's how they get players like Shaquille O'Neal and LeBron James. Players want to play in L.A. because it's beautiful and there's a winning tradition. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest, David. Thanks, Kevin. Great competition. I did speak a few minutes ago. He was worried about their interior defense. He doesn't want them getting gutted in the paint. He told his players, look, we're going to score, but we've got to make it difficult on them to give ourselves a chance to win. Guys, let's see if they can follow that advice. Thanks, David. Here's Michelle. After the main shot from Reyes. And the basket by Vassell. Vassell's got his second bucket of the night. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Spurs trail by eight. Vassell finds Jones. Back to Vassell. Shot clock at five. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Here's Benson. Three two that time from Davis. Lakers leading by eight. Pass to James. It's in there. Davis with the assist. Seven points for LeBron. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Graham surveying the floor. Over to the left wing. Hauser. Again, the miss by the Spurs. For Los Angeles, they've gone seven and eight from the field to start the game. Very hot shooter. So he gets a screen from Reyes. The pointer. And another three for the Lakers. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. 59 seconds left in the first quarter. This is it to Roby. McDermott up top. He's coming off the 19-point game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Lock at four. And it's Graham missing. Last game for the Spurs. They want to turn it around after the loss to the Trailblazers in Portland. Peter passes to Reyes. Shoots over Graham. And the Lakers check on two more. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. San Antonio. Obviously, 
actually comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Well, they weren't fighting through screens. Their closeouts and rotations were late. You name it, and let's just say they didn't do it on defense. Three-pointer, three. Rebound the Lakers. Pass to Schroeder. Schroeder gets a screen from Reyes. Schroeder passes to Reyes. That is good after that three-man in. Reyes has got 10 points in the game. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, not just an impressive show on offense, but on defense. Just tuning in. We've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. Oh, go small with the ball at the four. And it was at the five. D'Angelo Russell out there with the beast. And Hachimura at the three, the small four. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Thanks, Kevin. The beast in the last matchup against the Clippers was tremendous. He dropped in 38 points, but it was his season high in rebounds that really stood out. The numbers in that game make me anxious to see what he can do tonight. Kevin? Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. And it's very likely that he and his guys can carry that momentum into this one. And after a two-decade plus playoff streak, the Spurs have been in the lottery the last three seasons, and they're focused more on youth and development. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Jones, and the officials call over the back, a little too aggressive there. And he drew that call last. So it's Los Angeles. Yeah, that's the way to start a ball game. Loving it. What's the feeling like? when you get that first all-star nod. Getting recognized for all your hard work, it's an amazing feeling, right, Kenny? Let's turn our attention to that first half, which left... That's all for us. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And it's Jones with the ball for San Antonio. On the court for San Antonio. Sharing the wing spots, it's Vassell and Johnson. Then it's Jones. And it's Bassey into the five. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Yep, that one goes in there. That's 12 points for the beach. They're taking it right into the teeth of the defense. And it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. That's the kind of aggression you want to see when you've got a team on the road. Los Angeles leading by 23. Back to James. James gets the screen from Reyes. Yes, that goes in. James has got 14 points. A real threat from the in-between area. LeBron wastes no time firing when he gets to that spot. And there's the pass to Vassell. Johnson outside. Richard, you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games to one down in the NBA Finals to win the title. Remarkable. Just how hard was that to do? 
Well, let me say this. I think it was the greatest championship ever. And I'm not being biased. Those are the facts. They were the defending champion. They had the two-time MVP. They won 73 wins that year. So, for me, that was the most special comeback because we played in the greatest championship of all time. I'm assuming there was no doubt in your mind at all you would come back, correct? Uh, that's a lie. Uh, there was tons of doubt in my mind. But I will say this. When you have a group of guys that stay together when you're down three minutes because you believe in each other and you believe in yourselves. This ugly start. Second half, they missed their first four. They've got to get on track. Uh-oh, okay. AD put a little something extra on that jab. That's not fair. Let's just say that. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G Sound King. Tennessee, no good. And look, I'm not going to lie here. That's a shot that he needs to be making. There are no excuses. Russell from long range. Drills the three-pointer. He's got 10. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And now in the final year of his contract, D'Angelo Russell trying to get back to that all-star level and the promise that got him that last four-year deal. Hachimura against Johnson. Pass to Sohan. Five to shoot. It's stolen by Davis. Here's LeBron. Again, the Lakers. And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency has been a problem. Now, if you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. And the Lakers making a change here. Reeves is checked in. 157 left in the third quarter. Bring him against Russell to end the cold streak. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Reyes, the pass to Russell. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Devontae Green. That's his first foul. And Los Angeles with some changes. Hamid Bamba, he's checked in for Davis. Vanderbilt comes in for James. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. There's the triple. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. The assist players, Devin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Far movement has been flawless. One eleven left to play here in the third. Pass to Graham. McDermott, no one around him. No good on the three. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Pass to Roby. To the left side wing. Beyond the arc. And Bumba pulls it down. Los Angeles has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Bamba setting the pick for Schroeder. The pass to Reyes pulls it up. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. 16 points for the Beast. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Man, their offense is clicking. Players, coaches, everybody, they are in sync. Here's McDermott. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Graham. Will it go? And no good. And so it's Los Angeles. Enjoy the game. just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. We've got the Beast 
Also, Malik Beasley out there. And it's Gabriel in a power forward position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Outside, Jones. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Bassey, the pass to Sohan. Boom, he chains it straight down. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his balance. From the line, again, Los Angeles. And he's the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field, literally. Feeds it to Jones. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Beasley left side. Outside, Walker. Passes to Reyes. Beasley with a clean look. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And, and for remedy scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Back to Jones. To the middle. Here's Vassell. Power down after the assist. Let him into the lane. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Here's the beast. Defended by Jones. Here's Gabriel. An easy two points on the left. Gabriel's got five points now in the quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they got to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Passy, the pass to Vassell. They set the screen. Here's Johnson. Walker with the rebound. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And that one drops for him. Reyes has got 12 points here in the second half. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Los Angeles. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And on the year, looking at their record, this game will make it 49 wins. And they cap off the season series with one more win. It's been nothing but W's four straight and we watched one guy all night long guys and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had what a night tonight it was for the beast we certainly got to see his best effort on offense attacking the defense without fear and grabbing a lot of buckets lock at six here's Vassell offensive rebound Bassett and another shot and he can't bank that one in. Here are the Lakers. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Walker gets a screen from Reyes. Shots good by Walker. And it's just competing. I mean, you know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moment. They put this game away and stop. Walker with the rebound. Here's the beast. Trying to find Bamba. He gets it to him. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so puffed up. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching, and we'll see you next time.